G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel Bonzo Works. Today I'm going to talk about autumn work on Japanese black pine in Melbourne, Australia conditions. Um, today, like I really want to take you through this tree, how and what I'm going to do to it in autumn. So really, autumn is a good time um, to work on black pines. As, a, as I've always mentioned, black pines, I work on them twice a year. That's in summer when I decandle the black pines or in autumn when I go in and butt select and needle pluck. So I'm going to show you a bit more close-up work on what I do uh, with black pine. So first thing I do is go through and eliminate any multiple new buds in one spot. Many, multiple meaning more than two. So if you get three in one spot, you take out one. So you just got to go through the whole tree and work out where that's happening. Um, and you go through that process. So I usually start at the top of the tree. So we'll see. There we go. So I'll adjust the camera and see if we can find any multiple buds in this tree. But because this little black pine is quite refined, I'm not going to really find too many. So if you look carefully, you know, in here, for example, you've got only two there, two from that one cut spot. Uh, you only got one there, two there. You know, there's not many to look at. I'm trying to find some to show you that if there's multiple in one spot, but most of it is pretty much two at the one cut site so and i'll keep going through just having a look for now to show you guys what i'm trying to do so if you ever see this three in one spot then you come in and eliminate so most things are two two by two so this tree's looking okay for quick line of quick view but what i actually do really is now really go slowly top from the top to the bottom i start to what's called needle pluck the old can the old needles so on this one you can see that the needles are being cut to make them smaller. They're the old needles. So either with tweezers or your fingers, you can pluck off old needles. So I just don't want to get my hands in the way. Hopefully they're not in the way, but you can see that they, these are old needles here. And I'm going to leave the new ones for the buddies. So just slowly. You can use, as I said, fingers or tweezers. But in this case, I like to use my fingers because I'm faster with fingers and tweezers. And plucked all the old needles on just this bit on just this little one so keep going through it for example this one doesn't have cut ones but I can see the old needles are here they're the new ones here and just pluck away the old ones again I can use it with my fingers or tweezers it's up to you so if I've plucked all the old ones so now I'm only left with the new there's two little buds in there so I'm left with those two so you go through the whole tree. Sometimes you hit places where there's there's not much in terms of new new needles. For example, in this one. So I'll pluck off most of the old and leave just a few because there's not enough needles in this area to keep that bud healthy, I guess. That's how I think it. So horticulturally, you're trying to give the tree best chance again. Here I see there's all these old needles. So I can pluck them and I've got two nice two nice healthy buds here one and two so pluck away pluck away the old ones so i'm looking now two nice healthy ones right there and got rid of all the old ones so two nice healthy buds right there not that one that, that one there so if you go that do that from the top down always do that from the top down because usually what happens if you've got much bigger trees all the needles start to fall and fall into the lower half and it's a double double amount of effort to get rid of them all so if you start from the top here um, if you work otherwise if you work from the way bottom up in this case you're gonna have to go back and clean all the needles that have fallen in, in the lower branches so now it's a matter of just going through if you do this if you pluck them all then you can just go as you go down the tree you can clear all the ones that you've um, knocked off so again this is the work this is cleanup work in autumn now, I, I haven't got multiple, as I said, I haven't got three buds, so I can't really show you taking off one bud, but that's pretty easy. If I do see it, I'll, I'll, I'll show you in a minute, but just pluck off the old ones. You can go pretty fast and get your work done. So I'm going to go needle pluck, and if I see a triple bud, um, I'll show you that in a minute. So once you've actually needle plucked um, and candle did selected, so this tree was really good, I only needed had two in every area so it was really good so when the tree gets more advanced should only put out two in one area or two or one um so that's very very positive but cleaning out all the old needles you can see how different the tree looks looks much thinner 
and now we actually can see a lot more structure so now we can actually start the wiring process so really now it's just purely rewiring this tree i want to actually emphasize um just want to try and get more this branch a bit more a bit more forward bring around a little bit more into here get, get some bit more layers happening because it's a bit more just one pad so if I want, I want a bit more higher there that one a bit more lower and, and so on so just work on pads in this case in this tree um, and then look at this apex area it's a little bit heavy in some spots um, but I want to shrink that down quite a bit um, and it's a little bit thick in this area here in this area here so we're going to look at what I need to do but I'm going to start wiring always wire from the I'm going to wire from this this branch first and set it and then bring all this down so everything's got to be pushed down as well um, just a bit more down in certain aspects so this in this case I'll use copper because the tree's in refinement stage and it's quite nice and um, you can see the detail I don't have to put massive bends in so it's easy to use much um, thinner gauge copper to do a lot of that work so let's get working on this branch first <coughs> so with a bit of wiring purely with copper only I've created more pads at different angles um, around the tree around that first branch you can see quite nicely how that's all nice almost a large arrow shape with different levels that's a little bit higher that's a little bit lower there's one on the inside there's one over there so you can see the different levels very important to get that level so overall when that really fills out it'll look really nice we pad 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 pads around rather than just one big pad so having definition of, of um, pads is really important so really that what now that does is really shows you the large gap we have in here so where we can drop a lot of these now into that spot and drop some of the a lot of these drop all these branches into a better looking tree and create a new kind of apex in here so you can see how quite tall it is right now um, we want to get that bit shorter, um, a bit lower, I mean, and really emphasize some of that beautiful movement in that trunk there, showing you that off. Um, but yeah, get these down. So now the next step is wiring this die, the wiring the top of the tree. That's purely all it is. So you just keep wiring away. I might reduce some of these larger, longer bits. See how they're quite long and elongated? I might be able to cut back to, to ones that are closer in or closer, closer to the to the trunk that's what you should be doing black pines reducing the length of them over time um, otherwise they get too far out so cutting back to inner inner closer buds so there's a couple of buds there's a little bud in there and there's a little bud on this side so the so i could mean i can eliminate these long ones so I will, i'll have to adjust that as required as i move up the tree you see if that's too long and then make the cut so now i'm going to work my way up so i'll start with these branches and then i'll leave the and i'll show you the result of that and then i'll show you the apex so as you continue to build the layers, again, you fill it, follow the process of having a layer here underneath, then offset a little bit further down for that one. This one's a little bit higher, and this one comes around into the to the middle kind of area. So really, that's all it is, is wiring and then putting things in different um, angles and different planes along the tree structure. And then you slowly build up the tree. Uh, the tree is coming along well. I'm going to drop it down a bit further so you can see a bit more of an eye level. So you can see the pads starting to define nicely. Maybe you've got to drop this one a bit more, this one, a little bit more, but it's okay where it is. But you can see the apex now is just needing needing the finalization. It's a bit too high. You can see that how it's sticking up right up there. So we're just going to bring that down, wire that down, and create an apex at the top. So even though I've heavily wired everything uh, and everything looks a little bit going every direction at the moment, uh, it will get better in time. And all those, all these pads will just all start to point in one direction. All these, in all these um, candles will start pointing all in this direction to follow the, the growth pattern. So everything will point upwards, point upwards, point upwards, and you get that nice cloud effect pads. But first you've got to really come back to, you know, come back to make creating your pads nice and evenly and then wiring everything out. So wiring is a critical thing with conifers. You must wire to achieve a good tree. So after all that wiring, now we've got the apex completed. Uh, the whole tree looks pretty cool. Um, I'll just raise the camera so you can see a bit better angle. So if you look at it at that angle, pretty much your eye comes right into here, which is a good spot. And you see how all the pad development is starting to happen. Lots of pad development and the apex creation. So the tree is pretty good three-dimensionally as well. 
Um, we can zoom out. So it's pretty good three-dimensionally all the way around. You, when you wire out these black pines, you really need to fan out, fan out all the growth. You know, really, really fan them out, um, giving them lots of air, lots of space, lots of um, sunlight to get in, so you can get buds happening everywhere. Get a healthy tree and, and get ready for the next next round of dig handling and and bud selecting, you know, dig handling in summer and bud selecting in autumn. So that's you can do a lot of work in autumn. That's, that's pretty much what my what I was getting at. A lot of work can be done on the on tree on black pines in autumn. So now get stuck into it. First off, what I like to do again, repeat, is needle pluck all the old needles, then bud select if there's any more than two buds at one spot, and then you can pretty much wire wire the whole tree. So that's what I've done with copper wire now, and this tree will look quite nice. It fits nicely in my hand as well. Um, I'll zoom out so you can see. So it fits nicely in my hand. It's a nice size tree, nice size pine, easy to play with, easy to use. I mean, it's really cute, quite a, quite a nice little tree. All right, guys, that's it. That's really it for the black pines. Hope you saw some nice tips in there, and we'll see you soon for lots more.